Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to create whiteboard animation videos with Canva. And trust me, it's simpler than you think. First off, let's talk about whiteboard animations. You've probably seen these around, they're also known as doodle animations, and they're just so effective at getting a message across. There's something about this style that really draws people in. It's great for storytelling, explaining complex ideas, or just making your content more engaging. I've been a huge fan of these animations for a while now. Over the past few years, I've reviewed quite a few whiteboard animation tools right here on this channel and on my blog. I've dabbled with Create Studio, Doodly, Videoscribe, among others. Each has its perks, but today we're focusing on something a bit different. By the way, if you're interested in a deep dive into the best whiteboard animation tools, I've got a video on that. The link is in the description. Maybe check that out after this video, alright? So, let's get into today's main event. Creating whiteboard animations in Canva. Canva is this incredibly versatile tool. Whether you're designing graphics or editing videos, it's got you covered. And the best part? You can start using it for free. If you want more features, there's also a 30-day trial for Canva Pro. You'll find all the necessary links in the description below. Oh, and here's a little teaser. At the end of this video, I have a special demo animation that I created just for this tutorial. So, make sure to stick around for that. Okay, let's continue. Once you're logged into Canva, you'll be greeted with their user-friendly dashboard. Here's where the magic starts. Click on the Create Design button, and you'll see a range of design options. You've got templates for everything. Facebook posts, ebook covers, YouTube thumbnails, Instagram stories, you name it. For our purpose, we're selecting the video template. I'm just going to hide the timeline section for now to keep our workspace clean and focused. Now let's address a key point here. Canva operates differently from more specialized doodle software. It doesn't have the feature where you can pick an image from its library and instantly turn it into a whiteboard animation. Instead, you need to download the image first to your computer and then re-upload it to Canva. Let me walk you through this. Suppose we want to create an animation where a hand is drawing a flower. First, you'll need the image of that flower. Let me go to Elements, click on Graphics, and then search for Flower. Browse through the options and pick one that suits your vision. Drag and drop it into your design, and feel free to play around with the background color. This is your canvas, so get creative. You can add text or any other elements you think will enhance your design. Once your design is ready, download it as a PNG file. This will be the image we animate. Next up, head over to the Apps section inside Canva and search for Speed Painting. This app is our key to animation. Click and launch the app. Choose the file which you want to animate. Here's where you get to customize. Adjust the overall smoothness. Decide on the duration of the sketch animation, the color fill animation, and pick a background color. For my demo, I'm going with 60 FPS for smoothness, 5 seconds for the sketch duration, and 3 seconds for the color fill. You also have the option to include or exclude the sketching hand effect. And if you want to add a bit of drama, throw in a fade out effect. Once you're happy with the settings, click on Animate Image. A heads up, the animation process isn't instantaneous. It takes a few seconds, sometimes a bit longer, depending on the complexity of your image and the settings you've chosen. After the video is produced, it will appear on your Canva dashboard. And that's it. You've just created a whiteboard animation in Canva. Now, while this method is straightforward, it's important to note that it might not be the best fit for longer animations with multiple slides. Because you need to repeat these steps for each slide, 
it can be quite time consuming to create a full length video. Also, customization options are a bit limited in Canva for this feature. As of now, you can't change things like the hand color or size, but Canva is always updating, so who knows what features they'll add in the future. I did encounter some hiccups with uploading certain images. The app sometimes gave me an error message, but it's hard to pinpoint exactly why. Despite these limitations, I find this method in Canva really handy, especially for beginners or those looking for a free tool. For more complex projects, I still lean towards software like Create Studio, which I've been using for years. Before we wrap up, don't forget to check out the demo video I created for this tutorial. It's coming up next, and that's all for today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Once upon a time, in a picturesque village surrounded by emerald green fields and rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Lily. Lily was known throughout the village for her bright red hair and her boundless curiosity. Every morning, Lily would wake up to the sound of birds chirping outside her window. She would jump out of bed, eager to start a new day of adventures. Lily loved her village. It was a place where everyone knew each other, and the days were filled with simple joys. One sunny morning, Lily decided to explore the meadows beyond the village. She put on her favorite blue dress, tied her red hair with a green ribbon, and set off on her adventure. As she walked, she hummed a cheerful tune and greeted the farmers who were busy in their fields. As Lily reached the meadows, she was mesmerized by the wildflowers that danced in the gentle breeze. There were daisies, poppies, and sunflowers all blooming under the bright sun. She decided to pick some flowers to make a bouquet for her mother. While picking flowers, Lily heard a faint whimpering sound. Curious, she followed the sound and found a small, lost puppy hiding under a bush. The puppy was brown and white with big, sad eyes. Lily knew she had to help the little creature. She gently picked up the puppy and decided to take it back to the village. On the way, she talked to the puppy, promising to find it a loving home. When they reached the village, Lily asked around to see if anyone had lost a puppy but no one had. Lily's parents agreed that she could take care of the puppy until they found its owner. Lily was overjoyed. She named the puppy Toby and took him everywhere she went. The villagers loved Toby and he quickly became a part of the village. Days turned into weeks and no one came forward to claim Toby. He had found his home with Lily. Together they had many more adventures, exploring the fields and forests surrounding the village. Lily learned that sometimes, adventures could lead to unexpected friendships. She and Toby became inseparable, and their bond reminded everyone in the village of the joy and love that comes from helping others. And so, Lily and Toby lived happily ever after, exploring new places and making new friends, but always returning to their beloved village at the end of each adventure.